So when you treat postmenopausal women who don't have polycystic ovaries, mm -hmm. and well, their ovaries are kind of quiet then. And you treat them, and you give them testosterone, mm -hmm. and they start to develop some of the symptoms on this list. It's, mm -hmm. it's a chemistry set kind of. Mm -hmm. Well, we have to tweak this or tweak that. Mm -hmm. so, so, what are the things that you do? A woman comes in and she says, "My, I'm thinning hair. I'm getting some on my lip. Mm -hmm. uh, other." symptoms that you have. Oily skin and acne. Oily skin and acne, increased mm -hmm. body odor, increased perspiration. Mm -hmm. uh, if she comes in and says, all this is happening to me, mm -hmm. how, how do you respond? That's all, uh, that's all DHT and DHT comes from testosterone being converted into DHT. Mm -hmm. So we either block the DHT at the skin level, which is by giving somebody um, spironolactone. It's a diuretic. We've talked about it before but it works great at preventing facial hair and balding in women. And that's a pill that you that's take? That's a pill. It's cheap, okay. it's generic, and it's a diuretic. If you can't take a diuretic, that's our only issue. Okay. So that's what we give women to block that. If they have a severe case, if okay. they have more receptors, mm -hmm. or they have hairs that are closer together, you know, people who have really thick, dense hair, then we oftentimes start with finasteride, which is also called Propecia, or Proscar, and we now have them in our pellets if we need them. If somebody has that much of a problem, we have them mixed in the pellets or you can take a pill. And usually for women, we have them take half of the male dose every other day. Mm -hmm. The male dose is five milligrams, it's cheap and generic. The female dose is one milligram every day, but it's very expensive and it's not generic.